So AMD has published a new patent in which the company talks about an active chiplet serving as a bridge between multiple GPU dies, possibly based on its next generation RDNA 3 architecture for GPUs and APUs. Now the patent starts off by stating the elephant in the room and that's conventional monolithic GPU designs. And we all know how well chiplets worked out for AMD in the CPU segment and the company is now planning to follow the same route on the GPU side. It's no surprise that AMD's rival Nvidia is also investing in MCM designs that will be utilized in its next generation DPUs. It also makes sense because as of right now, process technology advancement is a crucial factor and you can't reduce the size of GPUs as much as back in the old days. And considering just how many different IPs a singular GPU packs in them these days, well, AMD's solution is to invest in chiplet designs for its next generation GPU architecture. Now we can say that this is our first look at RDNA 3 architecture or a future variant of RDNA. Now, AMD does state it faces a problem in making the multiple GPUs work in parallel. Think about the days of Crossfire, which is, well, quite redundant technology, as there are multiple GPU implementations. Now, to fix this problem and make a programming model work for chiplets, AMD has proposed an active bridge chiplet that would bridge multiple GPU chiplets together. The block diagram of the conceptual design shows a chip featuring multiple chiplets. The CPU portion is connected to the first GPU chiplet via a communication bus, which could be a future generation of Infinity Fabric, while the GPU chiplets are interconnected via the active bridge chiplet. This is an on-die bus interface that connects an N number of GPU chiplets. What's more interesting is that the bridge will also feature an L3 LLC cache, or last level cache, which is coherent and unified across the multiple chiplets, reducing cache bottlenecks. The AMD Active Bridge chiplet hence allows for the parallel working of the chiplets on existing programming models and reduces the need for having a separate L3 cache for each GPU chiplet. Currently, the block diagram talks about an SOC design, which hints that it might be a design for a future AMD RDNA 3 based APU for mobility, desktop, or consoles. However, we should also expect similar implementations on discrete GPUs for desktop grade graphics cards and future HPC products based on the CDNA 2 and CDNA 3 architectures. It's also be interesting to see this tech work on future AMD Radeon and Instinct GPUs. Currently, AMD features Infinity Fabric and Infinity Cache solutions on its existing RDNA 2 line of graphic cards, so one can expect a naming scheme like Infinity Bridge for the solution once it's launched. So there we have it. That's pretty much the first real look that we have so far of this MCM or multi-chip design or multi-chip modules as you will, MCM design for RDNA 3. So this could be quite interesting if they can overcome the barriers that come with multiple GPU dies working together in harmony the same way they did with CPUs. Love to hear your thoughts on this one. Hey guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen, make sure you hit the subscribe button down here in this corner and check out a video that you may have missed in our lineup. And we'll catch you in the next one.